What's going on everybody, it's aka the coot again, and I figured since I made that spork video forever ago and showed you guys how powerful a sporker can be with little to no gear, then I should definitely show you where I'm at now that I've dinged level 80. So hopping right in, we'll get to the, what I'm using for items right now. I, uh, I paid real money for a couple cosmetic changes in here just because that dress looks stupid obviously. But either way, I gotta use this one now which uh, I made a video of earlier. I got a really crazy high roll on some spell damage, so I've been using that. And as for my offhand, I use a shield just because it makes me a little more a little more tanky. I can really only take like two or three hits from anything that's a serious mob, so this makes it just a little bit easier on me. Plus it has some decent mana regeneration, which doesn't hurt. Actually, a little extra resistance. And my helmet, which is terrible but it gives me a decent amount of extra energy shield because I think I'm going to switch to chaos inoculation here pretty soon and it's got a little extra resists I use this because it has obviously a bunch of resistance it gives me a little extra strength because I needed that and uh, a little bit of global crit still once again I'd like to point out don't have the greatest gear in the entire world but this gives me a little bump in uh, chaos resistance a little extra life, a little cold resistance I probably could take this off if I wanted and change it but most of the time I'm just too lazy. This is a good rarity ring I found, but I don't use it for that. I use it for mostly the health. Once again, chaos resistance is hard for me to come by. I found myself getting rolled in later maps with chaos, but I found a way to counter that. We'll get into that in just a moment. And these, once again, chaos. Could probably find much better gloves. And chaos resistance boots. Again, the chaos resistance became a big issue for me so I decided to do something about it that's why you'll see a lot of my gear is more based around the fact that I need chaos all my pots are either bubbling or seething and then I found this guy right here which isn't as useful as I thought it would be but it's a crazy mana pot it gets you your mana back right away and made it so that I could not have to carry two around still using pretty much the same skills my spark does a little more than 651 but it does right around 700 when I'm in a group and fully buffed uh, lightning warp just to get around. Fire traps doing around 1950. I don't even think I use it very often. The only time I ever raise zombies or skeletons is when things are really bad. I spear for my frenzy or power charges, and I don't ever put anything on my main attack because I find it's a lot easier to pick up items if you have a move only. So try that out if you get a chance. If you have a character that you don't need your auto attack, then I click things a lot faster than most people, even though things are usually on permanent loot. Got to be good at clicking. Okay, and as far as buffs go, normally I use Discipline because my mana is pretty handled based on the fact that I don't spam a lot of spells because they're just, you know, dropping the Spork Totem thing. But outside of Clarity, Vitality is something that has really, really saved me because this completely negates the effect of almost any Chaos damage that you'd be taking in a later map. So when I'm in a Chaos damage map, instead of quitting or having to roll out because I'm going to die immediately because there's nothing worse than having to leave a map just before you're about to beat the boss or trying to rush around trying to get kills so your pots you know refresh so you're not just sitting there dying vitality completely negates it and you'll see your health just pop in it'll go like down one up one down one up one down one up one so that is how that happened and I got this infernal mantle the oculus vestment I actually found this I didn't have to trade for it I'm not big on trading but either way this thing is pretty nice. It gives me a little extra damage. I got a really low roll on that. As a matter of fact, maybe you guys can stick around for an extra second. I think I have a couple blessed orbs in here. Let's see if we can't get this a little bit higher. 9%? We'll take it. I think whenever I'm making videos for you guys, you guys are good luck. Between the blessed orb and uh, that one roll with a chance. See? Now my shit's a little bit higher good deal and as you can see as far as wealth goes I know a lot of people wonder like how much they have this is me basically not trading the only thing I've ever really traded is chaos orbs so I have like 16 chaos orbs I got a regal hiding around in there a lot of this you know your random stuff whenever I get a stack of it I just move it down here to get it out of the way but I'm not the richest person in the world I got you know your maps all the way down to 67 I don't have any 66 anymore I usually just give them to people who are just starting big old rune page got all sorts of stuff in here you can never have too many punishments apparently I didn't realize I had three of those I'll probably never use them uh... keep I, I'm a little pack rat actually any five link items I get like these probably aren't going to be worth anything but I don't know if I ever have a low level character that needs a five link it'll be there 
my rarity set. I think I can get up to like 113 increased uh, rarity of items found. So that's pretty cool. I keep all the unique items I find. They're fun for leveling up characters. Oh, pots. Quality gems. I got a few quality gems kicking around. I'm just lucky I keep all the stuff that I want to sell. Like if you sell five of the same item, I think it's five, it'll give you an unidentified version of that item. And like these are all really, really bad as far as I know. So I'll just eventually get another one and sell those. These are all things that I'm going to try and use later on other characters I keep. I'm sure some of them aren't that great, but... I don't know, if you're not interested in items, it makes this game a lot less interesting, that's for sure. And then I keep these two spots to dump stuff in when I'm doing runs. If I ever was to do ledge or if I'm doing maps, I don't like people to wait, so I just come dump it in here and identify it later. So, that's what's been going on with my Sporker right here. I don't have any trouble with any maps. I've gone all the way up to, I think, 73. I don't think I've any, done anything higher than that, but at that point, I mean, that's when the stuff starts to get a lot, lot better. So, either way, now you guys know where I'm at as far as the Sporker, and uh, this is what you could look forward to at level 80 if you're as good or as bad as me, depending on how you look at it. Thanks for watching.